proceed to sample problem number four. Given the dimension of column, we have 400 by 600 mm. So, ito yung 400 mm at saka yung 600 mm. Area of steel bars is equals to 8 pieces of 32 mm diameters. So, kapag column yung pinag-uusapan natin, yung area niya is naka-sub S in. With Fy, which is equal to 415 megapascal. Clear cover of 12 mm diameter lateral ties is equal to 40 mm. So kapag sinabi natin lateral, lateral ties, we are pertaining to column. Ito yung mga stirrups ng column natin na nakapatayo. Kapag naman beam, yung nagre-resist sa shear, yung tinatawag natin doon is yung stirrups naman. So, from the face of your 12 mm diameter stirrups, to the outermost fiber of the beam that is equal to 40 mm. Concrete normal weight, so meron tayong normal weight dito para dun sa gamma. So yung value ng gamma natin that is equal to 1.0 with F prime C which is equal to 28 megapascal. Use NSCP 2010 due to reversal of lateral force the design actual load due to the combined effect of dead load, live load, and wind load change as follows. So dahil sa wind load natin to the positive, di to the positive x direction, ito yung moment natin, yung shear natin, at saka yung actual load natin denoted by N. So nakasub U na tayo dito kasi nga naka-ultimate na itong mga to. For the wind load to the negative x direction, ito naman yung mga value ng moment, shear, at saka ng actual load natin. Letter A. Determine the concrete nominal shear strength for the positive x direction of the wind load. So, for the letter A, hanapin na ngayon natin Hanapin natin yung V sub C natin. Sabi dito, determine the concrete nominal shear strength. So, we are pertaining to V sub C. So, hanapin natin yung value ng V sub C natin. So, for this one, letter A tayo. So, yung V sub C daw natin at the positive x direction. So, hanapin natin yung V sub C at positive x direction. So, hahanapin natin values is yung nasa positive x. So, meaning to say, eto yung mga gagamitin natin mga values for MU, V sub U, at saka sa N sub U. So, since sinabi sa atin is NSCP 2010, and then walang sinabi kung simplified ba or detailed, we are going to use yung detailed formula natin. So, our detailed formula, that is equal to 0 0.17 lam lambda lambda ba ito? Spirit of F prime C. So, multiplied by, since meron tayo dito actual load, ilalagay natin yung actual load natin. So, that is 1 plus NU over 14 AG. So, this will be our formula multiplied by BWD. So, for this one, wala na tayong problema dito sa factor natin dito, reduction factor natin. Kasi given na yan, due to the normal weight na 1.0, wala tayong problema sa F prime C, yung N yung given naman yan. Yung AG, makukuha mo naman yung AG. Yung BW, makukuha mo naman yan. So, yung VW natin, it is always acting perpendicular to the direction ng V sub U natin. So, kung titignan natin, ito yung direction ng V sub U natin, ito yung magiging VW. Kasi nga, ito yung perpendicular sa direction ng V sub U natin. So, yung VW natin, it depends kung saan nakaperpendicular yung direction ng shear natin. And of course, yung problema na lang natin, what will be the value of your effective depth? So for this one, 
yung total, yung D natin, always parallel naman yan to direction ng shear natin. So, we have a total height of 600 or the total length of 600 minus 600 minus mo yung clear cover which is equal to 14 minus yung isang stirrups. So, yung isang stirrups natin, that is 12. Minus, kalahati ng bakal natin, eh yung bakal natin, that is 32. So, that will be 32 over 2. So, the value of your effective depth will be equal to 300, 532 mm. So, ngayon, hanapin na ngayon natin yung value ng V sub C natin. So, let's say that is V sub C along x direction in the positive. So, that will be equal to 0 0.17, 1.0, square root of yung f prime c natin, which is equal to 28 megapascal, multiplied by 1 plus yung n yun natin dito for the positive x that is positive, 1, 3, 20, times 10 raised to 3 para maging newton, over 14, and then yung ag natin, so that will become 600, or, or 400 multiplied by 600, multiplied by yung bw natin na 400, and the effective depth, which is equal to 532 mm. So the value of your v sub cx in the positive direction is now equal to 266 point. 6 to 8 kilo newton. So, this will be your answer. So, for the letter B, yung hinahanap sa problem natin, determine the concrete nominal shear strength for the negative x direction of the wind load. So, kung kanina is hinahanap natin is the positive x direction. For the next letter, we will going to find the nominal concrete shear strength at negative x direction. So sir, paano po natin yan isasolve? Gagamitin lang natin yung same formula natin provided that the value of your NU will be acquired to the value in the x, in the negative x direction. So V sub C, we have 0.17. Yung factor natin na 1.0 kasi nga normal weight. Multiplied by 28. Multiplied by 1 plus. So yung gagamitin natin dito, yung NU natin na positive 450 kN. Times 10 raised to 3 natin para maging newton. Multiplied by 14. Multiplied by yung area. Multiplied by 400. Multiplied by 532. So, the value of your V sub X, C, X in the negative direction is now equal to 217.063 kilo newton. And for the next letter, we are tasked to find the required spacing of shear reinforcement. So, hahanapin daw natin yung spacing ng lateral ties natin. Again, kapag sinabi natin lateral ties, ito yung mga shear reinforcement natin sa column. So, kung meron tayo yung stirrup sa beam, we have lateral ties naman sa column. So, for this one naman, since meron tayong dalawang value ng V sub C natin, we have in the X direction at saka in the negative direction. So, kailangan natin kunin yung smaller value between the two. Para yun yung gagamitin natin sa pagkuha ng V sub C natin. So, we are going to adopt the smaller value. So, yung V sub C mo, that is equal to V sub C X in the negative X direction, which is equal to 217.603 kN. So, we are going to adopt the smaller value. Of course, since ito yung in-adopt natin na value ng V sub C natin, automatically, automatically, gamitin natin is yung V sub U natin. And kung titingnan naman natin, parehas lang naman yung value ng V 
V sub yun natin. So, we have a magnitude of 370. Ngayon, we have a value of your VU. Paano na ngayon natin malalaman yung spacing ng stirrups natin? So, in computing for your spacing of your stirrups, so, compute natin yung 0 0.5, yung kalahate ng PVC. So, you have 0 0.5. Since NSCP2010 yung gamit natin, yung reduction factor natin, that will be 0.75. Multiplied by yung VC natin, which is equal to 217.063. So, the value of we will have will be 81.399 kilonewton. Kapag naman PVC naman, that will become 0.75. Multiplied by 217.063. So, you will have a value of 162.797 kilo newton. May naman, paano natin malalaman yung spacing? So, ipagko-compare natin yan sa VU na 370. Siyempre, meron din tayong value ng PVC dito which is equal to 162.797 kilo newton. And hindi naman magpapahuli yung 0.5 PVC natin, which is equal to 81.399 kN. So for this one, yung 0.5 PV PVC natin, that is less than to the value natin na 317. Hamak naman na mas malaki to. If we will compare naman itong VU to PVC, mas mataas naman yung 370 kN sa PVC. If mataas yung value ng VU natin compared to PVC, we are going to use the formula na VU is equals to P, VC plus VS. So, we have PVC plus PVS. So, yung VU natin, that will become 370. Yung PVC natin, that is 162.797 plus 0.75 yung reduction factor natin, V sub S. So, the value of your V sub S is now equal to 276.271 kN. So, from this one, i-design na ngayon natin yung spacing ng stirrups natin. So, matatandaan natin yung mga steps natin. Hanapin natin yung VU, hanapin natin yung VC, hanapin natin yung V sub S para makuha natin yung spacing. And then, lastly, siko-compare natin siya sa S max. So, ganun yung procedure natin dito. So, let us now calculate for the value of your spacing. Sir, what will be the formula? You can derive the formula for spacing kung nakalimutan ninyo. Or you can use this formula. So, yung AV natin. So, titignan natin dito. Ito yung mga nakaparallel dito sa VU natin. So, for this one, meron tayo dito na ilan? Nakaparallel sa kanya. 1, 2, at saka 3. Meron tayong tatlong stirrups na nakaparallel dun sa view natin. So, meron tayong tatlong stirrups. Tapos yung area niya, that will be meron tayong 12 mm diameter na stirrups. Multiplied by yung FY natin na 415 multiplied by yung effective depth natin which is equal to 532 over yung V sub S natin na 276.271 times 10 raised to 3. So, you have a value of 271.143. So, sabi ko nga, yung spacing natin always round down niya to the nearest tens. So, gawin natin yung 270 mm. So, next naman is, hanapin naman natin, nakuha na natin yung value ng S. Hanapin naman natin yung value ng S max natin. Sir, paano po natin malalaman yon? We are going to compare yung value ng V sub S natin to the value ng 0.33 squared of F prime C VWD. So, you have 0.33 squared of 28. Yung VW natin, that is equal to 400. Yung D natin, that is 532. So, yung value ng VS natin, that is 271. 276.271 yung value ng 0.33 squared of F prime CBWD 
that is equal to 371.590 kN. Since less than yung value ng V sub S natin, therefore, the value of your S max is equal to D over 2. Or, 532 over 2. So, that is equal to 266. Kaso nga lang, round down tayo. So, that is 260 mm to the nearest tens. Or, 600. So, kapag S max, 260 mm or 600 mm yung magiging value. Therefore, we will going to adopt S max na S which is equal to 260 mm. So, sa board exam, ito lagi yung kadalasang nag-govern on center. So, we are going to choose the smallest value. So, that will be the spacing of your lateral ties.